Thank you, Brian. On behalf of Mayweather Promotions, we'd like to thank everyone for coming out today for uh, this wonderful press conference. We have a great, great event this Saturday night. From top to bottom, we have great fights. The main event, the cold main event, the, the first bout leading into the broadcast, an outstanding uh, two fight uh, that are on, are, will be shown on the Facebook, Showtime Facebook Live. And a, and a terrific undercard with um, also we have nine Mayweather Promotions fighters, fighters who will be featured. So we have a great night of boxing. Um, so I would like to help you um, join me in um, bringing up a special guest um, who's my, my partner, who um, everyone knows him, a uh, future Hall of Famer, none other than the president of Mayweather Promotions, Floyd Mayweather. Um, it's great. It's great to be on this platform with so many young, so many young talented fighters. Um, I can remember um, 23 years ago when I was in that same position. And when you're in this position, you must take advantage of it because opportunities like this comes once in a lifetime. It's not in the, you can't leave it in the hands of your team, can't leave it in the hands of a trainer. You must go out there and give it your all when you fight. No matter how you look when you go out there and perform, whether you, you beat a guy by outboxing a guy, you beat a guy by counterpunching, you beat a guy by standing toe to toe. The ultimate goal is to become a winner, not just in the ring, but on the outside as well. And that's what we do over at Mayweather Promotions. And there's a couple different subjects I wanna to touch on just in a, in a boxing game period. Whereas with me, I want the best for fighters. And if any fighter on this platform can surpass me or break all my records, it's more power to them. I want to see that happen. Um, I don't want to be long gone in a fighter break my record. I want to be here to see these fighters surpass me. I want to see these fighters become great. I want to see these fighters become pay-per-view stars because that's what it's about. And records are made to be broken. Um, you know, I just had a, I had a game plan. And the game plan was to take each fight as it came. It wasn't to rush. And when, you know, when these fighters go out there and they perform, whether you lose or you win, remember, it's all up to you. It's not up to the trainer, it's up to you. For you to go out there and do what you do best. And that's to go out there, perform, and be at your best. Um, I can remember this young man coming to my gym, working hard believing in itself. And we sometimes we do two a days because if we don't feel like we got the job, if we got the job done right, the first time we'll come back to shake out the kinks. We strive every day to be perfectionists. Nobody is perfect, but we strive every day to be the best that we can possibly be. This kid works extremely hard, but you can never take anything for granted. I think this fighter is more dangerous than Abner Morris. That's just my honest opinion. But I also think that Abner Morris is a hell of a fighter. And it's all about taking chances and taking risks. One thing we can't do is down tank. Because all he, all he has done was beat the fighters that was put in front of him. Same thing that I done. So we're not here to criticize him I'm here to uplift him and tell him that I want to see him do good, but I don't just want to see him do good. I want to see every fighter on this pedestal do good. And I'm pretty sure, you know, because Ruiz is a hell of a fighter. He's a tough competitor. 
former world champion, so he's not a pushover. But Tank, one of, like I said before, he don't, every time he has came to me, when I say who you want to fight, said, it doesn't matter. So he don't pick and choose. So if y'all want to criticize anybody, criticize me, or criticize Leonard Ellaby, or criticize whoever, but don't criticize the fighters. The fighter's job is to go out there and fight and be the best that they can possibly be. And I tell Tank this, for years, Tank, they criticized me from the beginning. First, they say the fighters, I was a small man. Then when I was a knockout artist, they said Mayweather's not fighting against nobody. And then when I, got, when I became an older fighter and my body broke down, I was going the distance, they say, well, Mayweather don't knock, got the knockout power. What you keep doing is going out there and winning. You fight for you and your family and your children. That's what's important. Me, myself, if I don't throw another punch another day in my life, I made smart investments, and that's the ultimate goal for us to help you do. Make smart investments on the outside. Because soon, I've been around, I've been at, at the top for 23 years. When I was at the top in the beginning, it was none of these writers. Total different writers. They're going to write good about you, they're going to write bad about you. But the ultimate goal, as long as they write about you. That's the ultimate goal. Ruiz. You're a hell of a fighter, tough competitor. Hell of a fighter, I seen you fight. And good knockout power too, 18, in the, 18 fighters in the first round. But we can't, we can't knock you because you only had 20 fights. Uh, hell of a matchup, and that's what we wanna see. Um, Leonard, I wanna say thank you because a lot of times I'm traveling the world, uh, still making appearances, still making hundreds of millions of dollars why being retired, but it's you every day. Um, either me or you that, that they're gonna criticize, but let's continue to help these fighters grow. We're not the type of company whereas, like other promoters, whereas if a fighter is fighting with you and then a fighter leave and go to a whole nother company, then we talk bad about the fighter. We want to continue to put on good fights, put on exciting fights, and see these fighters push their ability as far as they can possibly push their ability. This young kid right here in the back right here, Truck is amazing. Another fighter from Baltimore, and I'm pretty sure, I'm not pretty sure, but I believe deep in my heart he will be world champion too someday. Um, to, this team over here to my left, which is Tank Team. Calvin, you've done an amazing job with the kid. You know, only thing I want to do is c continue to help if it's inside the gym or in the background. I want to continue to help because the ultimate goal is to make this kid a household name and to make him a pay-per-view star. Um, and just to my team and to my staff, to my Mayweather Promotions team, to my, to my staff, I just want to say thank you guys for working hard, day in and day out. Steven Espinoza, Showtime, Al Heyman, um, and the Watson family, Courtney, Sam. You guys have worked hard, you know, behind the scenes for years and years, and you guys don't get the credit that you're due. I just wanna say thank you to everybody that showed up to the press conference today. <laughs> And it's all about excitement. It's all about putting on great shows and putting on great fights. Saturday will be another blockbuster. And I'll be there pushing the fighters as far as I could possibly push them. I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to, um, to everyone that's behind me. You guys are doing a, an amazing job. And I'm going to continue to stay in the background and push these guys as far as I could possibly push them. Thank you. The most high. Thanks, guys, for coming today here, covering us with your media. I would like to thank my team. They've done a great job. Theo Torrance, Jimmy, Duane Blake, William McGriffin, 
I appreciate everything you guys have done for me. And on top of that, may with the promotion. Thanks guys for the push that you guys been showing us all throughout these years. You guys have been pushing all these young fighters and giving them opportunity to shine and showcase their talent. Thank you so much for that. And all the promoters that have come together and put this show together. And top of that, thank you to Showtime. Um, we have a great fight coming up on this Saturday at, on February 9th. I'm fighting a gentleman, Javier Fortuna, former champion. He's a great fighter, tough guy. Um, I expect him to bring a lot of fireworks, and uh, I'm prepared for that. We have a good game plan, and uh, Saturday night, you guys don't miss out. It's gonna be the return of the lion. Thanks, guys. God bless you all and your loved ones. Thank you so much. Sharif is on a 10-fight unbeaten streak. You heard him allude to his opponent. He's a former world champion. Goes by the moniker the Bumblebee. Here's Javier Fortuna. Our Felix de Jesus from Showtime will be doing the translation. Muy buenas tardes a todos. Good afternoon, everybody. Primeramente, doy gracias a Dios por permitirme participar en esta cartelera. I thank God for participating in this uh, beautiful event that we're having. Y gracias a la promotora, al manejador y a todos los que están relacionados en la cartelera. Thanks to the promoter, the manager, and everybody involved with the event. Me siento muy orgulloso de participar en esta cartelera. I'm very honored in participating in this event. Y contento y daré lo mejor de mí. And I will give the best of me. Ya que voy con un boxeador que bueno, tiene buenos méritos. I'm going against a good boxer who has good merits. Pero no importa el obstáculo que hay entre el medio. It doesn't matter the obstacles that we have in yo, between. Yo lo lograré y saliré por la puerta grande. I'm going to come out through the open, uh, the big door. Muchas and gracias. Thank Muchas you. gracias a todos por tenerme presente y muchas bendiciones. Thank you and thanks to everybody and uh, you'll see a good fight. Now to the co-feature. And coming to the podium is a man who's won five straight, hasn't tasted defeat in a couple of years. Here's Richard Zamora. And our Felix de Jesus will be doing the translation. Hola, buenas tardes. Good afternoon. Me siento muy contento y quiero darle las gracias a Dios por estar aquí en este momento. I'm very happy and I thank God for being in this moment. Y gracias a la empresa por darme una oportunidad de estar aquí. Thanks to the uh, event coordinators and everybody involved for me being here today. Esta es la oportunidad que estaba buscando. This is the opportunity that I've been looking for. No pienso dejarla ir y estoy listo para pelear. I am ready to fight. I am not going to let this opportunity pass by. Gracias. Thank you. His opponent, unbeaten, considered one of the up-and-comer, especially at 140 pounds, Mario Barrios. How's everybody doing? Uh, I want to thank Showtime, uh, Mayweather Promotions, TGB Promotions. Uh, this is a huge opportunity. Very excited for it. I'm just looking to, you know, to go out there Saturday night, put on a, a, uh, a great fight you know, for all the boxing fans. I mean, uh, there's not much to say, you know. I mean, I'm ready and I'm excited. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna take you know, full advantage of this opportunity. Thank you. Now we come to the main event that you'll see on Showtime Championship Boxing Saturday night. Come to the podium, one of the promoters of this great event. He's the head of Samson Boxing, and one thing you know about him, he has fighters who come to fight. Here is Samson Lukowitz. Good afternoon to everyone. 
it really is an honor for me to be involved in this uh, great show, especially with uh, Tom Brown from TGB and Mayweather. Probably many people say that Mayweather, it make this happen because the money. I say no, it's not about money. I know Mayweather, I know the history. And if you remember the 24-7, who was the start of the 24-7? Mayweather. All the promoters, including myself, we cannot even come closer to Mayweather promotion. And I want to congratulate not only Mayweather, who is behind Mayweather promotion. The 24-7 is true. I never forgot the first time I saw him in 24-7. Back to this show, I guarantee you two great fights. Actually, there's three great fights, but I don't know which one it would be the best. If Fortuna or it be Hugo Ruiz. Hugo Ruiz, he was training for the softball, and three weeks ago, he fought the right-handed. He was a sparring partner, actually. Now, after three months and three weeks training for the softball, we have a fight. Trust me, it's a fight. Nothing against Maris, but I believe Davis he have his hands full with the El Cuatito Ruiz, the mother, the father, the brothers, everyone is a fighter. And he's a real Mexican. Viva Mexico. Thank you. God bless you all. And now here is the former world champion, Hugo Ruiz. Buenas tardes, tengan todos ustedes. Good afternoon to everybody. Eh, me siento muy agradecido con Dios por esta gran oportunidad. I am very happy with God especially for this great opportunity. Así como también con mi promotor de toda la vida, Samson Lekowitz. Also very uh, happy with my promoter to put the fight, Samson Lekowitz. Eh, TVG. TVG also. My weather promotion. My weather promotions Thank also. Thank you. Eh, mi, mi manager Fernando Domínguez, mi equipo de trabajo conformado por mis hermanos y mi padre. My manager Fernando Domingos and also my training team, which is my father and my brothers. Estoy muy contento por esta gran oportunidad que se me presentó. I'm very happy with this great opportunity that I've had. Me encuentro muy emocionado. Vengo a dejarlo todo arriba del ring. I'm going to leave everything on top of that ring. I'm very emotional about this great opportunity that's been given to me. Tengo mucha fe en Dios y mucha seguridad. I have a lot of faith in God and a lot of security. También quiero agradecerle a Davis por, por aceptar pelear conmigo. I also want to thank Javante uh, Davis for wanting to fight me. Y traigo toda la seguridad de que este sábado habrá nuevo campeón mundial. And I have all the, uh, the security and the insurance that there's going to be a world champion uh, come Saturday night, a new world champion. Muchas gracias a todos. Thank you. And now, to bring up the champ, unbeaten, only gone the distance once in 20 fights, here's Leonard Ellaby. <laughs> Nice try, B. <laughs> this young fighter, um, his reach goes beyond just the boxing ring. Um, I'm really impressed. I'm from the D.C. area, so I know firsthand the impact that this uh, young gentleman has on the youth, just not in the DMV area, but the youth all around the world, when it, when it comes to excitement, when it comes to explosiveness, when it comes to knockout power, this is something new that the fans across the world are getting the chance to witness. And at the young age of 24, um, most, most of the fans out there have, they, they have come to grown to no tank for his punching power. But I'm here to tell you, Tank is also a very, very skilled boxer. And I think this is one of the things that he'll be able to showcase moving forward in a number of his big fights in the near future. And come Saturday night, 
We know that he has a tough challenge in front of him because anytime you have a, a, a last minute replacement who's a former world champion, who's an excellent fighter, but styles make fights. And it, when, when it comes to Hugo Ruiz's uh, style, he's a very aggressive fighter and it makes nothing but a great fight. And when it comes to Javante Davis, he has the full arsenal. I mean, he can do it all. In my opinion, not only is he the most exciting fighter in the entire sport, he's also the biggest puncher in the sport. And you heard me, he's also the biggest puncher in the sport. But it takes more than just having knockout power. And again, on Saturday night, I think you'll see an array of his skill set. He'll come out and he'll be able to showcase everything that he's been working on. So without further ado, I would like to bring up Mayweather Promotions' own, none other than the WBA Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Javante Tank Davis. First of all, I want to, uh, you know, thank God, you know, for this opportunity. I want to thank uh, Showtime, um, Mayweather Promotion, uh, Al Heyman, uh, my team. Um, I'm excited to be, you know, be back in the sport, you know, uh, fighting. You know, uh, I've been off for some time now. Um, I'm, Cat been great, you know, been with my brothers, you know, uh, we, we have, uh, Lorenzo Truck Simpson fighting on the card. Uh, hopefully we could get my other brothers, you know, fighting on the card um, in the future. Um, I'm ready, man. Uh, I'm excited. You know, uh, we, we, we planned on fighting Abner, but, you know, um, he had an injury. So hopefully we could get him down the line if everything okay with him. Um, Hugo, I believe that he, he's a great opponent. Um, he gonna come to fight Saturday night. He actually just fought, so he should be in shape. And he also telling, you know, uh, you know, the media that he gonna knock me out. So hopefully we get an action-packed fight. That's what I'm wishing um, to get back to the fans since it been a late um, change in the opponents. But I'm ready, man. I I, I feel like I'm the one that uh, that can be, you know, that that next paper brew star. Um, I'm working towards it, you know. Um, again, I'm I'm just a little kid, you know, soaking it all in, you know. So Saturday night, uh, I hope y'all ready. Don't get no popcorn. It's gonna be an action-packed fight, you know. So I see y'all Saturday night. Thank you all for coming out. Javier is a big name um, compared to the fighters that I've been fighting. You know, uh, Richard Brio is a former world champion, tough guy too. But getting a win from Javier Fortuna will put me up there on top too, and uh, I'll be prepared for the next challenge after that. Javier, he says a win over you is a signature win on his career. What does the victory do for you Saturday? Yes, I will definitely, a victory uh, against Sharif will be def very important in my career and in the stepping stone where I want to get uh, this year. It's, it's going to be a difficult fight uh, against Sharif, but he's ready. Yeah, it's going to be uh, a tough fight, but uh, it's going to be a tough fight for him too. Now let's get to the co-feature. Mario Barrios, Richard Zamora. Richard, you've won five straight. What is a victory Saturday, your U.S. debut against an unbeaten fighter like Mario Barrios do for you? It's a very very important in my career to come out victorious from this fight, since I'm making my debut in the States. It will be definitely a big a step, especially doing my U.S. Uh, debut here in the uh, United States. Uh, so it's a big step to beat uh, Mario. Mario, I read that you said 
I know that you have been matched and brought along carefully, but you said you want all the smoke at 140. Tell the people, what does that mean? That means I'm ready, you know, for any one of the champions. I mean, I'm not looking past Zamora whatsoever. I tip my hat, you know, for him taking this fight. You know, it's a huge opportunity for him. But, I mean, come Saturday night, you know, I know all the work I put in during camp is going to pay off. And, uh, I mean, there's some big things on the horizon. But, again, you know, not looking past Zamora. He's a very tough fighter in front of me. I know he's coming with everything on Saturday, but so am I. Richard, what should we expect Saturday night? Una gran pelea. Vengo preparado y listo para una guerra. I come very well prepared, and I'm waiting for a war. I'm expecting a war, and I'm ready for a war. Lastly, Mario, you've stopped your last six opponents. He says he's ready for war. He better be. I mean, it's, it's going to be a great night. I mean, like I said, I'm ready. I mean, sounds good to me. Now we get to the main event. Javante Davis, 20 fights. 19 knockouts. Hugo Ruiz, 18 first round knockouts. <laughs> Javante, I just heard you say it and I, and, I, and I read it and you said, fighting Hugo, you think will probably be a better fight because you said he's stronger, more aggressive opponent than Abner Morris. Tell us why, why do you believe that? Um, his record speak for itself. You know, he got, uh, I believe, uh, 30, 38 wins with, like, 33 knockouts. So, uh, I watched a little bit on him, and he, he got some pop. He accurate. Hugo, Tank really has had about three rounds of activity in the last 18 months. Because you have fought recently, do you feel like that's an advantage for you and a disadvantage for him? Bueno, yo me siento en ritmo para esta pelea. Eh, Davis es un gran campeón. Creo que esta va a ser un gran combate. Eh, el rit he estado muy activo, entonces eso creo que me va a fav favorecer mucho. I'm in rhythm. I've been very active since my last fight, which was just a couple of weeks ago. Davis is a tremendous fighter, tremendous champion, but I'll be ready come Saturday night. Tank, any concern about ring rust? Uh, no, I don't think I have um, ring rust. You know, I've been working with a lot of good fighters in the gym. I feel as though um, I'm excited to be back, so I'm more excited, you know, to be back and, you know, Give him a great fight Saturday night, so I don't believe that I have ring rust. Hugo, you're fighting at 1.30, first time. Do you believe the power will also transfer at this weight? Solo puedo decir que que en las 130 libras me siento más fuerte que nunca, y eso lo voy a demostrar este sábado. All I can say is that at 1.30, I feel more power than ever, and I will demonstrate it on Saturday night. Uh, Tank, sounds like he says he wants that smoke at 1.30. He's also been quoted saying he will knock you out Saturday. It's not too many guys who say they want to fight you, and not too many opponents who say they're actually going to knock you out. What should we expect Saturday? For him to say he's gonna knock me out, you know, I, I feel as though that um, it would be an action-packed fight. Um, I'm glad that he, he has that mentality, you know, because we owe it to the fans of a late, a late um, changing an opponent. So I'm, I'm praying that, you know, he, he come ready to fight, you know, uh, Saturday night so we get the fans a, a great show. Hugo, we'll end this with you. Um, your last question. Why did you want this challenge? Bueno, este reto es es muy grande para mí. Es la oportunidad de mi vida, la oportunidad de toda mi carrera. Toda la, todos los 12 años que he trabajado en el boxeo, eh, 
lo he hecho para, para esta gran oportunidad y no pienso desperdiciarla. There's a big challenge for me. My 12 years of boxing is the great opportunity I've been waiting for, and I don't plan on losing out on it. Tank, how does, how does going into a fight like this, when you've been preparing, preparing for Abner, then boom, at the last minute, is someone totally new, and obviously is someone who's very hungry. How does that affect your game plan and what you're trying to do Saturday night? Uh, it really don't affect me. You know, uh, I've, been, I've, been up, I've been coming through the amateur. You know, we always you know, fought by like, I want to say four or five times a week, so. We, are, we always had different opponents. Also, I have been sparring um, someone that's taller than me in training camp, you know. So, it don't play no um, major role, you know, I'm, I'm ready. I think a fighter should be ready uh, uh, and be able to, to adapt to whatever he's he, um, having the ring in front of him. So, I'm aware of what's going on. Um, I'm ready, you know, hopefully he's ready and Saturday night we're gonna action pack fight. And lastly, you know, you said this is going to be the first of many big fights for you this year. How active, how active will you be, champ, this year? Uh, I'll be very active. Uh, we had three fights um, scheduled. Probably four. Yeah, probably four, and we can get him out of there in the, uh, you know, in uh, the early round. So I'm pushing to get him out of there in the early round so I can uh, collect another check before <laughs> for July. <laughs>